Smith and Nelson in the morning on 94.9 KISS FM. What they tweet, what they do, it's what's making news in the world of country music. This is the Music City 60 on 94.9 KISS FM. Yes, it is your Music City 60 and uh, Parker McCollum injured his finger the other day, uh, tossing the football around and uh, now he has something called mallet finger, uh, which is no good. He has to wear a splint. That means he cannot play guitar until mid-July, uh, which is definitely unfortunate. The good news is he can still sing, <laughs> so he's not canceling any shows. He just won't be playing guitar. He doesn't have mallet voice. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, and he should be back at full strength when he comes here in Missoula for uh, Thomas Rhett. He's going to be doing that one, right? Yeah, in October. Okay. Uh, this is a story about Tim McGraw. When he lounges around watching TV, what do you think Tim McGraw's watching? Uh, apparently, he's got into Ted Lasso. Really? He says, one of the last things we binge-watched, we fell in love with, we heard about it, heard about it, put off watching it, Ted Lasso. Tim says he's not a big comedy guy. He was afraid to watch it. He said, besides the comedy, so much heart to the show, so much wisdom to the show. He said he fell in love with it. He fell in love with Jason Sudeikis' character. Uh, his favorite shows, he says on TV also, uh, Succession. Okay. And then Yellowstone. He gave a cheap plug to the ones that are paying, uh, paying his uh, paying his bills. Of lately. course, yes. Tim McGraw has been on the Yellowstone prequel 1883. Which, speaking of, Tim McGraw's uh, son, quote unquote, the kid who plays his son on 1883, uh, actually brought Tim's guitar out to the stage uh, at his recent show in Atlanta. Uh, actor Audi Rick, who played the uh, kid in 1883, Tim McGraw kind of posted it on Twitter, had the video of the kid running out to the stage with the guitar. That's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Must have just kind of been like, oh. Live in the area? Yeah. Come out to the show? Own. Let's get a uh, pop from the crowd? Yeah. Nice. Uh, this is about Jason Aldean and his four-year-old son recently being taken to the emergency room. Oh, no. Not one of those fun things when you're a parent. Jason posted a picture of uh, him along with the caption, Little man had his first trip to the ER today. Apparently he needed two stitches and took it like a champ. Jason's wife, Brittany, posted our day took a turn when Mems name is memphis oh, okay no, that's the nickname mems <laughs> fell at the pool two stitches under his chin and our first official trip to the er there it is it's a milestone we had to do that with our our daughter did the uh a couple years ago now did the trip fall landed right in the worst way you could on a lego man just on a lego like just fell right onto a brick and it just Jeez. cut the lip and it's just but you're at the er and you're like oh my god those legos are killers this man. is the I'm worst thing you. this is the worst thing oh my gosh <laughs> Uh, so there you go. Jason Aldean, Memphis, first trip to the ER. There you go. And now, you're in the know with Nashville. Smith & Nelson's Music City 60, 94.9 KISS FM. It's what's newsy and noteworthy with Smith & Nelson on 94.9 KISS FM. Yes, it is what's newsy and noteworthy for your morning. And the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey Circus is being revived. You may remember that uh, they shut down in 2017. After more than 130 years and after several years of uh, increased criticism over their animal performers, uh, and we're being kind of pressured to drop those, uh, and now the show is revamped and they are doing it without animals, debuting in September 2023. In a promo video, they're highlighting the human performances, uh, tyro performers, acrobats, jugglers, all that kind of stuff. I'm intrigued because they did away with like the elephants. Yes. That was like the big thing. And then numbers started to fade. Yeah. They were like, oh, we're not doing so T- good. Ticket sales kind of bottomed out. That was the real reason why they shut down. So then they disappeared, and now they're like, oh, we have no animals. Yes. Let's do a comeback. It <laughs> seems like it makes much sense. We will see what happens All right. there. All right. Uh, Pepsi's created a Pepsi-infused pepperoni. There you go. Okay. Looking to snack. Get your uh, Pepsi-infused pepperoni. They've teamed with the Culinary Institute of America to create the new meat. It's pork. They've infused it with Pepsi Zero Sugar, Italian herbs, citrus, and caramel spices. Then it's smoked for four hours. Pepsi going to debut the new pepperoni tomorrow in New York. There you go. So now- why put Pepsi Zero Sugar in there? I mean, if you're going to it- put Pepsi in there, go all the way. Yeah. Give, it the, give us the flavor we love. Yes. Yeah, Although I like this where it's like, uh, hey, if you have your pepperoni, you don't even need a drink. You don't, That's right. You, That's you right. already have your Pepsi. It's already on the pepperoni. All in one. There you go. Uh, Hot Pockets just announced that they're going to start selling cold pockets. Although they actually didn't name them Cold Pockets, but they really should have. They they're, should, yeah. They're called Deli Witch Sandwiches. Oh, yeah. Cold Pockets is way better. Cold Pockets is way better. And uh, basically, you thaw them out before you eat them. Uh, they say you can put one in your kid's lunchbox in the morning. It'll be ready to eat in two to four hours. Or you can thaw them out in the microwave. But it's their first offering that's not meant to be eaten hot. And they're releasing four different versions. Pepperoni and cheese, ham and cheese, turkey and cheese, and one that's only cheese. Uh, frankly, I don't know how they haven't done 
cold pockets. Yes. Yeah, this seems like a slam dunk <laughs> idea. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, Taylor Swift gave a commencement speech yesterday at New York University. They gave her an honorary doctorate. Taylor, Taylor was killed. It was, it was like she was coming out doing a stand-up set. Yeah. <laughs> she, she came out, took the stage. She she opened with, hi, I'm Taylor. Last time I was in a stadium this size, I was dancing in heels and wearing a glittery leotard. <laughs> Not sure if they had the over there in the corner. She said, this outfit is much more comfortable. And she said, uh, getting canceled on the internet and nearly losing my career gave me an excellent knowledge of all the types of wine. Her advice for the uh, class, she said, breathe in, breathe through, breathe deep, breathe out. And I'm a doctor now, so I know how breathing works. (laughs) That's my set, everybody. There you go. (laughs) The type five. Taylor was crushing it. That's nice. Uh, this kind of went viral in Arkansas recently. The birthplace of Johnny Cash, Kingsland, Arkansas, has a water tower that has a mural of Johnny Cash on it. And uh, it sprung a leak, and it happened to be in the exact spot where it looked like Johnny Cash was peeing down onto the town. <laughs> it's been captivating America for days. Uh, it's incredible. Uh, apparently, some sharp sh- sh- some sharpshooter managed to uh, shoot the tank at that exact spot. Now they've found the guy uh, who actually shot it. The uh, guy was arrested and charged with criminal mischief. And impairing the operation of a vital public utility, uh, which are both felonies. Uh, if he's convicted, he's looking up to 16 years in jail, actually. Wow. Kind of crazy. Uh, but, yeah, the town hoping to get it repaired soon. city's losing an estimated 30,000 gallons of wow. water every day. Well, it was pretty amazing, though, when you see it from the right angle. I mean, it's the perfect it shot. Funny. All right, finally, Vancouver, Canada. Police were called to a local neighborhood yesterday when residents called 911 because a cougar was on the prowl. So they thought. Cops investigated and found the cougar was just a large house cat. The African wild cat, one of the largest domestic cats in the world, has spots and stripes, so you yeah. can see where uh, the confusion would be. <laughs> and these cats, it says, can sell for as much as $25,000. Wow. Crazy, but uh, apparently one got out, was cruising the neighborhood and Man. freaking everybody out. <laughs> that makes sense. That's crazy. <laughs> All right, there you go. Newsy and noteworthy for your morning with Kiss. When it's country in Florence, it's Montana's country leader, 94.9 KISS FM. Even though... Smith and Nelson, Montana's country leader, 94.9 KISS FM. We will do your first Luke Combs code word of the morning coming up right around 8.20. That could score you a flyaway trip to Atlanta to see Luke Combs in concert. Yes, tickets, hotel, airfare, and $500 in spending cash all included. KISS FM mobile app. Got a story there. About high school baseball and the fact that it will not be happening with the Missoula High Schools oh, next season. Interesting. So this was uh, earlier in the year. They kind of they got it off the ground. that uh, They said it was going to happen, right? Yeah, the baseball was going to start to be played in uh, the high schools in the state. And then it could begin with the 22-23 school year, which would be the one that uh, starts in the fall, right? Right. So start in the fall, you got the winter. Okay, well, and then when spring rolls around early, early the following year, then that would kind of be like baseball season, right, in the spring. Uh, announcement earlier this week that not going to be the case with uh, Missoula schools. They're going to push it out at least until 2024. Oh, man. So it won't be this coming school year, but it would be the following one, as long as everything from now until then falls into place. Interesting. Uh, which is kind of a bummer. If, yeah, if, if you're you... a you know Missoula high school senior or whatever that uh, wanted to play baseball, you, can, you can't. That, that stinks. I guess uh, you know any grade, really, but especially seniors because – yeah. Then they won't get the chance the following year to do it. And sure. w- won't have had it for the last couple of years, I guess. So from the assistant superintendent of Missoula County Public Schools, this was one of the quotes. It said, we finished up the meetings last week and our discussion, and we're going to plan on the 23-24 school year. We tried to take a very long and serious look at it, decided there's just too much to do. Facilities and cost, organization, hiring. We've got three schools to try and get off the ground. So I'm, on one hand, I'm bummed. Especially for the seniors, right? On the other hand, it's like, yeah, there's probably a lot to do when you're starting from starting from nothing. I mean, you got to build the build the programs from the ground. That's up. also true. Yeah, it's something you don't want to, you know, rush. And then the first year that you're in play, you're like, oh boy, we really cut some corners here. Yeah, and, ooh, we weren't ready to roll it out, and now we're we're paying the price for it, right? That's true. So I mean, it's unfortunate that some kids won't be able to play for sure. Um, but you know, it could be a, a better thing in the long term to uh, wait a little bit. Absolutely. And it sounds like a. Uh, Class AA schools are kind of all in the same line of thinking because as of now, really no class AA school has uh, agreed or said they want to start next year. It's all the, right. the following year. Although uh, single A, they're on board. Okay. So uh, Western Montana, I mean, you got uh, you've got schools that say, yeah, we're we're in. So that's 
something, yeah, I guess. That's get, promising. Someone get the ball rolling. That's French, not bad at all. Frenchtown, Polson, Hamilton, they say they're going to start with the uh, upcoming school year, which all again right. wouldn't be until the until basically next spring. So there'll be some surrounding areas in Missoula that'll be doing high school baseball, just uh, not Missoula. But for Missoula and the uh, the double A schools, looks like they're going to wait until at least 2024. Hopefully that's not pushed back. Right. Any, any further than yeah, that. Any more than that. All right. Well, if you want to uh, see more with the story, we have it for you. But uh, if you're getting kind of excited, not going to happen next year. Kind of a bum deal. But yeah. Uh, full story. KissFM.com and with your mobile app. 49 Kiss FM. Odds and ends with Smith and Nelson on 94.9 Kiss FM. Yes, it is. Some odds and ends for your morning. Stranger Things Season 4 is coming out on Netflix next week. Although you can find out what happens uh, on Stranger Things Season 4 right now if you happen to purchase a Monopoly game. There's an official Stranger Things Monopoly game tie-in that apparently spoils Season 4 of Stranger Things. Uh, the Duffer Brothers, who are the creators of the show, very upset about it. Uh, they were not consulted on the game. Uh, but I got some images from it uh, leaked on Reddit, and uh, yeah, there's apparently uh, some spoilers on there. But the game's not out yet. I believe or it is. Uh, according to the Reddit thread, uh, somebody bought it at the uh, at, at a nationally recognized retailer, purchased Fair and Square by a consumer, took pictures and posted them online. Um, How but are the creators uh, not involved in having the that uh, is a good question. The show yeah. used on merchandise. Yeah, I have no idea how that happened. Huh. But, uh, yeah, I guess they said lessons have been learned, and there will be more <laughs> co- cohesion going into season five. Interesting. <laughs> uh, usually, you have these things pop up where it's crazy flavors, and somebody's doing a special flavor for a limited edition. This one I kind of want to try. It says Jelly Belly is now selling a chocolate flavored sparkling water. Yeah. 16 ounce can cost you two ninety nine, three dollars for a can of sparkling water, <laughs> uh, but it says it tastes like chocolate jelly bean. Interesting. I'm intrigued to know how terrible or hmm, this isn't bad. That is. I think it would go. I, that could go either way. I think basically. Uh, Ozzy Osbourne almost had his clothes stolen yesterday when his Lyft driver left and became unreachable. His daughter Kelly Osbourne quickly took to Twitter, called the LAPD for help. Uh, tweeted out, emergency! Uh, one of your drivers just knowingly drove off with all of my dad's clothes in the backseat of his car. We can't reach her or you. Please contact me immediately. We're calling the police right now. Uh, she actually shared a screenshot from the Lyft app with the driver's info and then took it down. But uh, anyway, about an hour and a half later, they were able to uh, get the clothes back. Interesting. Yeah, so I, I, it might have all just been a misunderstanding. She may have overreacted that a little yeah. bit. But... The fact that she says that they knowingly drove off. Yeah, like, how, how could she know that that, that happened? Makes yeah. you wonder, like, huh, what was happening there? All right, uh, you know, we're Yellowstone crazy with filming happening locally and a chance to be extras and everything with the show. Uh, they announced the premiere date for the new season, which will be November 13th. All right. On the Paramount Network. Okay, quicker turnaround than uh, last season. Yeah. Right, season, I mean, season four took a while to, uh, to come out eventually, right? It did, but it wasn't like the Olympics got in the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was part of it, so, for sure. So I think that was part of it, because uh, the Olympics got in the way, so they pushed it out from the, I think it was like Father's Day weekend. It yes. It usually premiered, and they pushed it until last November, so they're kind of sticking with that same time frame. All right, fair enough. Uh, if you're a McDonald's fan, you may have heard of this guy, Don Gorski from Wisconsin. He has held the Guinness World Record for most Big Macs eaten. Uh, and he's held that since 1999. Uh, now he's officially been at it for 50 years. Uh, <laughs> he averages two Big Macs a day. He keeps receipts uh. for every single order going all the way back to 1972. Uh, so he can tell you that in 50 years, there have only been eight days when he has not had at least one Big Mac, uh, which wow. is just bananas. <laughs> as, as of Tuesday, he has eaten 32,944 Big Macs, <laughs> and he always has them with a side of Coke. 32 grand. And, uh, you know, you look at a picture of this guy, you would expect, you know, maybe a guy not in the sure. biggest health. Seems like he's a normal-looking dude. Like, a generally, <laughs> like... The fact that he averages two a day. Yes. Makes you think, oh, if he, you know, he doesn't miss very many days. But if he does, then it's, you gotta do three or four the next... To, to know, like, bring it back up, yeah, bring the average, average back, back up, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of Big Macs. That's nuts. I, how, how could you even enjoy a Big Mac at that point by the end of it, you 32, know? 32,000 Big Macs, averaging two a day with a Coke. Yeah. That's uh, that's amazing. Uh, a couple things that happened on this date. How about 1962 on this day? Marilyn Monroe saying happy birthday to John F. Kennedy. The old, uh, the old famous rendition. Sure, there. yeah. This date, 1974, the Rubik's Cube was invented. 
And then this date in 2001, Apple opened its first retail store. Oh, there you go. Virginia and California each got a store, and uh, now they're everywhere. Nice. There you go. 21 years ago today. All right, some odds and ends for your morning. It's Kiss. This part of Smith & Nelson in the Morning, brought to you by Hunter Bay Coffee, Montana's premium gourmet coffee roaster. If it's Smith & Nelson in the Morning with 94.9 Kiss FM. You'll find this story with your free Kiss FM mobile app. We've got baseball starting with the Battleheads next week. We're supposed to be in baseball season. That's right. Here we are talking football. <laughs> Grizz- That's kind of how it goes in Missoula, I feel like. <laughs> Grizz football in the fall. Big announcement yesterday that uh, all has to do with the, uh, the where you can watch games on TV. Big Sky Conference reaching a new deal. Uh, so last year, in previous years, you'd watch Grizz games. Kind of Root Sports kind of had the the contract, and right? It was like you had to have Root Sports in your package. And uh, the good news is it's it's going to all be local now. Oh, it'll, cool! And all be on uh, K Packs is the Grizz and Scripps. Uh, the company have reached a deal. Nice. So, so free over the air. Yeah. I mean, technically, if you have a you have a pair of rabbit ears set up, <laughs> you, you got the game. You don't have to have a. Not cable. sure how many people out there have rabbit ears set up, but still, you don't have to have a cable package that includes root and you know an add on or anything right. like that. No subscription charge, or anything. Yes, yeah, so this is a good deal because it's going to allow people uh, more people to watch the game yeah. uh, televised. Free over the air local television. That's going to start here with the upcoming season in the fall. We have all the details with the announcement that was made yesterday, but some of the uh, some of the highlights include that uh, not only the, not only the Grizz, but uh, you know also Montana State are part of this package uh, right. statewide. Not so much, uh, I don't think you know, with the local broadcast, but statewide. So when they were kind of going over the details, they included both schools, both programs, right. uh, with highlights. But it says that uh, UM and MSU can each have. Uh, one home game and one away game in prime time. Nice. So that's very cool. Yeah, definitely. We can count on two prime time games. Yeah, and uh, the rest of them airing in the afternoon. Yeah, but that's uh, that's very cool news for the upcoming season. Um, also, the 121st Brawl of the Wild will be on the uh, on the stations, which again includes K-Pax here in Missoula. Very cool. So you'll uh, you'll have access to that. Then I also got some details about how the they have kind of some rights for some uh, men and women's basketball games, and then uh, some details about how the games will still be available on ESPN Plus. Kind of watch on the app. Nice. And uh, none of them, uh, none of them airing on uh, the local stations, going to be subject to any kind of blackout restriction or anything. They should all be available. So very, very, very cool, cool deal. Yeah, yeah that sounds great. Uh, if you want more on that, we have it for you, including uh, kind of the link. There's uh, details, some thoughts from the commissioner of the Big Sky Conference and such. You can check it out at kissfm.com or with your free Kiss FM mobile app. Montana's country leader, 94.9 Kiss FM. One oh, newsworthy nugget of the day with Smith & Nelson on 94.9 Kiss FM. Brought to you by Farside Sign, Missoula's leading full-service sign and custom vehicle graphic shop. Farside Sign in East 2200 blocks, South Avenue West. All right, let's learn a little something. That's what the nugget is all about every morning. Absolutely, and uh, this is an interesting hypothetical. Did you know... If there was a hole going all the way through the earth, like it just the entire way through, and you fell inside, it would take 38 minutes for you to get to the other side. Wow. Yeah. Just about 40 minutes uh, right there. And then you can get to the other side of the earth. Um, you'd probably be a little worse for wear, I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might think. not make it uh, to the end, but uh, you, mean you don't just breeze through the core of the earth. <laughs> I think it might be a little bit difficult, but uh, hypothetically, if there were a hole through, all the way through the earth, you would make it to the other side in about 38 minutes. Isn't that amazing? You can go from one side to the other in 38 minutes, but then you think about like how long it takes to you know fly across the country. I know, right? Like, seven hours or whatever. <laughs> we really got to figure out a shortcut there. <laughs> amazing. But there you go. Need to or not, now you know.